All right. This is Warren Cook escapes from New Zealand because why not? I'll tell you what's probably going to happen in this one. Okay, because these Warren Cook escapes videos are always the same. He's going to go back home and no one's going to know about it. And the first thing he's going to do, instead of, I don't know, maybe trying to find a place to live with someone who's not going to freaking force him to do, do stupid stuff that makes no sense and be a complete jerk like his dad and all and Slippy V and all those guys are going to be to him, is he's going to go get a Disney video or see a video, and then he's going to watch it, leave it on the couch. His dad's going to come home. Oh, no. Warren Cook bought another. No, then he's going to make a fake VHS opening. Oh, no. Warren Cook bought a Disney video. He also made a fake VHS opening. That's it. I'm calling people over instead of addressing it myself like a good dad would. Slippy V, do you know what Warren Cook did? Let me guess, because I have nothing better to do than sit around and guess these things. And then they're going to come and punish him, and they're going to bring a bunch of people over, and they're going to make him eat grape nuts, Swiss cheese, prunes, raw eggs, and ban him from Disney again, which never works. So I don't know why they continue doing it, force him to watch baby shows, put him in nappies, possibly shrink him down. Maybe he'll maybe he'll mention Drew Pickles and Ronald McDonald beating them beating them up, and he'll be like, how dare you say that? And then they're going to make him watch the stuff. Oh, my life sucks. And then the video's going to end. So let's see if I'm right on any of that. And I don't know why the hell he would even want to escape New Zealand. I mean, he could have a decent life in New Zealand. This looks like a nice place. I mean, it's a gym, obviously, but hey, you know, it looks warm. He's got... It's better than being under his dad's tyrannical reign. And what are they going to do if he w watches Disney in New Zealand? Jack shit. Stay in New Zealand, Warren. But no, the plot demands that he go home. How does he get in the cockpit of an airplane? If he could fly an airplane, why doesn't he just leave his home? I don't understand. There's more plot holes in this. That plane is still flying. You can see the clouds going past the window. <laughs> How is it flying? There's no one in the cockpit. I don't get it. Yes. I'm back to Orlando, Florida. Goodbye, New Zealand. Wow, I was wrong. Wait, so Go Animates in Orlando? Hmm. Welcome to Gumbies and Pew Poos. How may I help you? I would like Higglytown Heroes on DVD. And this guy's going to be the only one that's going to show him any not or any lack of meanness in this entire video let me guess please here it is thanks i didn't know that books were like videos now yay i got higglytown heroes on dvd i'm apparently i don't know gonna watch it i really like the higgly kids with seat belts on with their swimsuits that would go well with the mind chase from finding nemo now it's time that is random to make another fake vhs opening yep following what i said so far the incredibles from 1988 vhs opening is finished real not fake since my dad is still at work i'm gonna leave the nick hotel and see toy story 2 the 2010 version in theaters Of course, some random guys in his fucking room. It's like he knew he was going to come home. I, I just... How do they know this stuff? I don't know. Let me guess. Warren escaped from New Zealand and made the opening to The Incredibles from 1988. That's... Why doesn't he just make it from New Zealand? That's the thing. It'll be such a... It's be such a good diversion of their attention. They're so used to him returning home... That when he does actually stay in the place and make the fake VHS opening, they're all looking around to go in and they go, where the hell's Warren? Where the hell's Warren? And never once suspecting that he's just doing the same stuff in New Zealand. See, and then he'd be able to do it over and over again, and there's nothing they could do to stop him because they're not in New Zealand. 
But no, I mean, but seriously, why wouldn't he just do that? It's fake. And he bought Higley Town Heroes on DVD. I think the real question is, what the fuck were you doing in his house? He should not escape from New Zealand, make the opening to The Incredibles from 1988, and buy Higley Town Heroes on DVD. Don't worry. I'm going to beat his motherfucking ass with my foot when he gets home. Whoa. I can't believe you escaped from New Zealand, made the opening to The Incredibles from 1988, and bought Higley Town Heroes. 1988. On DVD. And what else did you do after that? I went to see the 2010 version of Toy Story 2 at the movie theater. What the fuck, Warren? You are banned from everything made by Disney. They act like he just fucking robbed a bank. This is such an overreaction. It's because you make those fake VHS openings. Because, you know, no one makes anything worse on YouTube at all. No, no. F the trolls are less bad than you. People who just spread hate are less bad than you. You're you're the Antichrist, Warren. I just... Ugh. Also, you're grounded for Deadpool Infinity. I'm gonna put the Elmo Pampers Easy Ups from the Super Kid commercial on you. No. Please. Anything but nappies. Poor Warren. But seriously, everything I've said so far is coming true, pretty much. Ouch. That hurt. You guys are evil. Warren, how dare you tell us we're evil? Why? I honestly have to agree with him. I, I don't see anything that you've done that, set, that shows that you are not evil. So, what? He's not supposed to tell the truth? You're freaking evil, guys. Deal with it. I wish Swiper the Fox was eaten by dinosaurs. Warren. Why? Swiper, I don't get it. Nothing makes any sense. How dare you wish the baby show villain was eaten by dinosaur? A villain? That's it. You have been pushing me this time. I'm calling all my friends. I don't, I don't, I don't understand, I don't, ugh. I say you let him go. That's my suggestion. And we're obviously going to finish this, so. Whoa. Warren. You have tons and tons and tons of visitors who want to see you. And, look, and half of them are superheroes who, you know, probably should be out saving the day, but nope, let's punish him. Warren, these are all the people I have brought with your two teachers to teach you a lesson. I'm Sean Brunner. I heard that you escaped from New Zealand. I'm Nathan Designer Boy 7. I have had it with you and your evil plans. I'm Alex Kimball. You completely lost trips to the Disney stores. I'm El Ryan. You are worse than Oabi. I'm Oishi Kawaii. You are worse than Swiper the Fox. I'm Slippy B if you turn my- If you acknowledge that Swiper the Fox is bad, why would wishing that he gets eaten by dinosaurs be something that you'd get angry at Warren for saying? I just don't understand. A girlfriend into a teenager pregnant anime girl. I will turn you into a squid. This is me, David Comedian 1991. I heard you killed Eric from Just Imagine. I'm Louie Louie 95. I'm done with you. You're nothing but an evil user on YouTube. I'm Robert Coase Animation. You completely lost trips to all water parks. I'm Flanner Fly. I'm so mad at you for making fake VHS openings. I'm King B. Wings. I'm very angry at you for disobeying our rules. I'm Purple Megamind 2000. You are worse than Darwin Boots. I'm We Hate Warren Cook. I hate all, all your videos. I can't tell why based on his... His username. Nope, no idea why. I'm Kawaii Sugar Bunny. You suck ass. I'm AMs. Damn, tell me what you really think about him. Sally94. I'm so furious at you for hacking just Tom Midgen's return. I'm Joseph Slatty. If you keep my bra and panites on and take off my shirt, my husband will beat you up. 
I'm Steve Comedian. Mimi 9909 had to revive Baxter all thanks to you. I'm Eric Carefn FTW Tinky Winky sucks. Tristan will force you to watch the shows he likes. Sorry we're late, but we are the chairs from Shoko Chara Puchy Puchy. We can't believe you escaped from New Zealand. I'm John the Goat Animate Dude. I heard you hacked my first Zaro getting in dead meat video. We are the power of girls. Mojo Hoto, him, and Fuzzy Lumpkins heard you tried to destroy their lairs. We are the Ruddy Rough Boys. We heard you beat up our friends. We are the Power Punk Girls. We heard you robbed our bank. I'm Yumi. We are tired of you making fake VHS openings. I'm Ami. And I agree with Yumi. I then why do you watch them? There's so much other content on YouTube. Why would you continue to watch something that you don't like? I'm Max J9. I heard you killed my teachers. I'm Tori. I'm Donna. I'm Donna. I'm Rai. I'm Rai. I'm Sina. I'm Sina. And I'm Finn and we're the Tai Chi chasers. chasers. Escaping from New Zealand is not cool. And making fake VHS openings is against the law. We are the super. I don't know where it says that in the law, but I would like you to present a copy of the law to me where it says that. Once I see it, I will believe it. Until then, that is a very bold claim that I do not think is supported. Readers, you were responsible for making us get stuck in quicksand. I'm Melanie. You should be ashamed of what you have done. I am Otto. I'm Sam. And I'm Twister. You are causing confusion and delay. I'm Taylor Jolliker. You are worse than the backyard against. I'm Charles Green, known as the Angry Grandpa. I'm 100% capital ultra mad at you for escaping New Zealand. I'm Cyborg and Wood of Teen Titans. Stop fire. I called every single store and then told them that you aren't allowed to get anything made by Disney. Which is why he simply bought something and no one tried to stop him, right? <laughs> I couldn't pet it. I'm mad at you for killing my little brother Gage. I'm Ms. Shaw. You have been a bad, 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 bad student of You're mine. Mine. And I'm Mr. Mr. Dyke. Dyke. You have absolutely been a bad, 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 bad student of mine as well. This will, this will teach, teach you a strong, strict lesson. You will be wearing nappies for the rest of your natural born life. What do you want to bet she says that? To you a strong, strict lesson. You will be wearing nappies for the rest of your life. No. Oh, she didn't say natural born. I'm so pissed. I didn't get it right. <laughs> but again, Miss Shaw. Shut that fucking mouth up already, bitch. I already know what the fuck are you saying, you bastard. Warren. <laughs> Nice. You have 10 lives, and you just lost one. If you lose all of your lives, I will call the cops on you, and you'll be sent to the netherworld. Because that's what the cops do to people they arrest. They send them to the netherworld. I, I, what? What? What the fuck is this? Watch your shorts and like them on Facebook. We will destroy your Disney posters with our superpowers. Shut up, Ravon. I know what you will do, Warren. You do not say anything to anybody. You are down to eight lives. You will eat baby food and play with baby toys. Why? Because you look like a big baby. Wow, did it take you all night to come up with that insult? Before the real punishments, he sweared at Cena, the roadie rough boys, XJ9, Alpha Pig, J-O-E-S-P-H, and Melanie. I agree with all of them. Now start watching baby and prime time shows not made by Disney, listen to music not made by Disney, and play these video games. Wow, that actually was a really short punishment. It's not made by Disney, or you'll be grounded for giant infinity. Fuck you all. I love when he says this stuff. I wish you were all fucking dead by penises of- oh, Fuck, I say I called the penises thing earlier! Drew Pickles. Barney the Gay Purple Dinosaur, Dr. Eggman. Koopa Troopa, Goomba, and Ronald McDonald. They never mentioned Dick the Clown, though. That's what gets me so worked up. Like, they're referring to Spiconia videos, if you don't know that. And I, I mean, I used to watch those, but now I'm not, now I just don't like them anymore. I do like, I, I think it's the computerized voice that makes me laugh more than anything. Not the, the story's content is pretty fucked up, to be honest. But they have a character called Dick the Clown. I'm not sure why. 
But that guy was like always my favorite of the four main ones, which were Barney, Drew Pickles, Ronald McDonald, and Dick the Clown. And they never mentioned Dick the Clown. I just, I wish they would. You know, if you're going to mention all the other three, you might as well go all the way. Warren, how dare you tell us all to fuck off and wish we were all dead? You have just lost all of your lives. That is it, Warren. I'm going to call the cops on you. No, 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 no. I will give this video credit for one thing. At least he didn't go through all these guys and list all these punishments. But at the same time, really, it's about exactly the same as every other Warren Cook video I've seen. Hello. Can you arrest my son Warren? Because he killed a just imaginary family and made a lot of fake VHS openings. I'm pretty sure they won't give a shit about the fake VHS openings. At least they would in real life. Uh, why didn't you call the, them earlier if he killed them? I just don't understand. I don't understand this at all. Okay. Goodbye. You are under arrest for killing the just imaginary family and making fake VHS opening. Yeah, because that's exactly what the police would really say if this was if this is what they informed. They'd be like, wait a minute, someone killed someone? They'd be like, well, who cares about the fake VHS openings? There was a murder. Who did what? Get in the police car. You are going to jail forever. Well, at least there was no netherworld in this one. I guess this was slightly original, but I swear, I called like 99% of everything that was going to happen in this video in the beginning. So, it just shows like how much of a cut and paste formula these Warren Cook videos really are. I, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand why people even made these. Like, is this supposed to make him stop? Because clearly he kept making videos. I think he still makes videos. And I'm not going to tell you what his account is. Because I don't want you to go and freaking say, Oh, Warren Cook does this. Let's let's get him. No. No. Let him do what he wants. As long as he's not trying to send people to external websites and scam them and take money from them, it's absolutely fine with me.